Welcome to this special episode of the Flight Brothers. This is our first time merging simulation with real world flight. Today we're literally and virtually taking to the skies north of Seattle, flying through the mountains and out to the islands and back. Enjoy our X-Plane comparison video first, and then the full real flight with multi-cam views after. We're starting out today at the Auburn Municipal Airport, just southeast of SeaTac. In the real flight, I'm in the co-pilot seat, wearing my hat, my aviators, and of course, an FBFT t-shirt. Down in the X-Plane version here, we're using the X-Crafts ERJ. I'm actually hand flying the whole thing, and it's not really the most appropriate use of the ERJ, and I definitely could have used the Sim Cessna, but why? This was fun. So as we departed SeaTac, we're going to try and stay under the Class Bravo airspace, Class B, and above Renton's Class C airspace. As we move north, you can see on the Sky Vector map, our full route on the outbound. We're going to pass between Lake Washington and Lake Sammamish, if I said that correctly, on our right. You'll notice the terrain matches very nicely. This is the X-Plane 11 default scenery. And uh, I have on real world weather and it did not exactly match the day we flew, but you can still see it looks excellent. There's enough reference points to actually do VFR flight. As we move north, we are passing through Bellevue, Kirkland, and Redmond. In the far distance is Mount Baker. Right now we're passing Everett on our left and Payne Field, which is the site of Boeing's uh, assembly plant. Soon after, we're passing Marysville and beginning to look for our entrance into the mountain passage at Arlington. VFR navigation's really pretty easy in this sort of clear weather. In the comparison, uh, video on the bottom you can see very clearly those power lines guiding us into the mountains here. In the real flight we were actually able to look you can see this on the uh, sectional chart the canyon just prior to the one we're turning into is blocked by horizontal and vertical cables some sort of power lines and the towers are very brightly colored. All right, as we're coming back here into the canyon, we're gonna be approaching Darrington right before that hillside that's kind of dead ahead of both aircraft. There is an airport right there, and it uh, the end of the runway pretty much goes to that hillside, so probably makes for a very interesting departure. Certainly something I'll need to try here in X-Plane. Then we follow along the Sauk River towards Rockport, as we go through this passage, we're seeing El Dorado Peak, Mount Baker, Mount Shuskin, and Glacier Peak. All very, very beautiful. The window cam and the Cessna doesn't really do it justice. Stick around later for the uh, multicam view at the end of this video. We do some other shots with the handheld, and uh, it's a very nice trip. All right, as we're moving north here, we're going to pass Lake Shannon, which is dammed on the south end. It takes me a little longer to do the loop around it there with the ERJ. And then we turn back out to the west. Now we're going to be passing uh, Cedro Woolley and Burlington. The farm fields are going to match very nicely as we get out here um, between X-Plane and the real world flight. Since we're about to head out, we are approaching Whidbey's airspace in the real flight. We had to contact them for clearance. Uh, it's controlled by uh, Whidbey Islands Naval Air Station. So need to make sure we radio ahead for clearance. We're really actually just touching the, the top of their Class C. So ahead, you can see uh, here comes the water. That's Padilla Bay. 
out in front of us is Anacortis, and you'll kind of see there's uh, some ship loading in the real one. There you go, we're passing over it now. And ahead of us, we're going to pass some more islands, Lopez, Decatur, and Blakely. Just beyond those, pretty much the last island in sight on the uh, back right is San Juan Island, and that's where we're going to be landing at the Friday Harbor Airport. In the real video, we passed a number of small boats. You may have seen one's uh, trail down there. Just a beautiful day for flying, quite scenic. Once we got out, we overflew the airport to check things out, and then we're going to uh, set up for the right hand pattern. It's going to take a lot longer in the ERJ to get ourselves turned around. So we're going to hold up on the Cessna before landing. And we'll try and match up our videos for the final approach. I've used time lapse to make the Cessna video uh, kind of match with the ERJ. The Cessna looks bouncy because it's sped up from about 110 knots whereas the ERJ was doing about 250 until this pattern. So that gives the ERJ a much smoother looking flight than the Cessna, even though they were both quite smooth. All right, enough comparison. Let's enjoy the real flight. Thank you again to my pilot for the day, Jeffrey.
Welcome back to Auburn. We hope you enjoyed this special episode of the Flight Brothers. Thanks again to Jeffrey. And remember, plan the flight and fly the plan. Mm-hmm.